Hello and welcome to the first video of 2024. I want to share with you a few of the habits that I have learned create momentum and change in my life and I wish for you nothing but a productive, relaxing, and prosperous year ahead. So first of all, if you want to create change or make an impact to your life in some fashion, you need to just get started because getting started creates momentum and things just start falling like dominoes and everything just kind of follows along with each other from there. As you can see here, I'm creating or I'm making my green smoothie at the beginning of the day and I love to do this each morning because in here I get my potassium, my magnesium, my protein, my collagen, my greens and it just sets me up for a great day. I've also noticed that throughout the week, if I start with this in the morning, I have a lot more energy by midweek and by the end of the week and it's just a beautiful way to start each day. Also, don't forget to start your day with some affirmations. This cup reminds me of the affirmations that I love to tell myself every single day, but choose the one that you love the most and affirm yourself each and every day because you are worth it. I know that drinking water just seems like the easiest thing to do, but it really does make a difference when you're hydrated. And so don't forget to drink your water. It helps with your mental clarity and your energy levels as well. So now I'm just writing down some things I'm grateful for. Research shows that practicing gratitude 15 minutes a day, five days a week for at least six weeks can enhance mental wellness and possibly promote a lasting change in perspective. Gratitude and its mental health benefits can also positively affect your physical health. I'm currently getting ready to set up my planner for 2024 and it will be a key component that I will use every single day to keep myself organized. In an effort to curb my social media intake and just because I want to, I'm going to be reading a lot more this year. Another thing I recommend is to just get moving in any capacity each day. Something that I know works for my mental well-being and just for myself in general is minimizing decluttering. I'm working on a capsule wardrobe here and working on not adding too many pieces to my wardrobe this year so that way I can use what I have and just make sure that it's not a factor in my day-to-day -day life. I just choose what I'm going to wear and I don't have to worry about it too much. And the last thing I'm going to share with you is this big calendar I use to keep my entire family organized. It goes on the front of my fridge. I'm starting a fresh one this year and this just really keeps everybody together and at a quick glance I can see what we have coming up for the week and for the month. I really really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a productive, mindful, and prosperous year in 2024. See you in the next video.